What's up, everyone? Daniel Kaiser here at E3 2016. I'm joined now by Randy, who's the co-founder of Impulse Gear, the creators of Farpoint, which is one of the more talked about games of E3 2016. Thanks for joining us, Randy. Tell us all about this project. Absolutely. So uh, this is Impulse Gear's first game. So Impulse Gear is a small team founded uh, about a year ago. We started building up our team from three up to 15. And throughout that last year, we've, we've developed Farpoint. We're really excited to show Farpoint today on the floor because we're doing something really unique. We've been working with Sony to develop what's called the PSVR AIM controller. This controller gives you one-to-one -one motion inside of the first-person shooter world of Farpoint. Uh, it's, it's unprecedented in aiming accuracy. You can really turn, move, you can look up through the sight of the weapon inside of the game. We really give you a first-person shooter experience that you feel hasn't, hasn't existed yet. And what has the reaction been like here? We have this amazing booth, by the way, if you come and check this out. And lots of people in here playing, what has the reaction been like? Uh, extremely positive. Everyone coming through has been extremely excited. It's, it's been really good. We've had a lot of people uh, sending friends back, sending people back, just because they're really enjoying what we're doing. You know, we played it as the developers. We've played it so much. But when we when we show people the controls, and then you see that first look when they when they hold it themselves and they turn the weapon and they see it, the virtual weapon in the game, and they a lot of people just chuckle. They, they they're like, it's so intuitive, so natural, and they're just blown away by what they're experiencing. It's a lot really of people exciting. are excited about VR, but locomotion has been a challenge trying to figure out how to do it, and this is something that you're proudly touting now with the controller. Talk a little bit about solving something there and what it means to open up access to VR. So at Impulse Q, we really wanted to deliver a core gaming experience, and for us, we wanted to do first-person shooters. That really means not taking away a lot of the, the features that a user would expect when, when you're talking about a shooter genre. What really allows us to do it, I believe, is that we have a grounded experience when you're holding something that you have a physical uh, relationship to as well as the virtual relationship. And when it's one-to-one -one and matches, it really helps ground you in the world and allows you to do that, some of the motion that you don't typically see in these types of games. So let's talk a little bit about Unreal Engine and how it's helped you bring your vision for Farpoint. Obviously, a very ambitious project. How has Unreal helped you bring your concepts to life? Unreal's been fantastic when building Farpoint. It, it really allows our small team to do so much more than you would expect should be possible. Uh, working with the Blueprint system, working with the awesome lighting systems, constantly having the updates that are coming through. It's like having more software engineers on our team and graphics engineers on our team, so it's fantastic. Uh, we were really excited when Unreal, when you guys announced Paragon, because it meant a lot of optimizations and new features that were coming in that were really going to be helpful for us when developing Farpoint. The relationship with Unreal has been really fantastic. Excellent. Well, we're really super stoked to have this game here at the show. It's looking great. Where can people go to find out more about Farpoint? So, impulsegear.com is where you can go to find more about Farpoint. We have, uh, we'll have screenshots up there, trailer, information about the team, um, and yeah, that's just try to get out and try it. If you can find a place where you can try it, get out and try it. Randy, we appreciate your time very much. Best of luck with the project. For more on all things Unreal Engine, you can head online to unrealengine.com.